Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In today's video, guys, we'll show you how to play the cooling system on Kia Forte or Kia Soul. If you have the one with the 1.8 engine, the 2.0 might work as well. This one is the 1.8 NU engine. Uh, now, this is a 2014 model, but uh, the, the, it will actually work for many years and many models as well. So. Always double check your manual if you do that, but we took the whole engine apart, if we had an engine knock, so uh, check out the video, we rebuild the whole engine and now we have to go ahead and add coolant. And we need to bleed the cooling system, otherwise it might overheat, need a new head, new head gasket and we want to avoid that. So stay with us and we'll show you what needs to be done. If you need help with anything, drop a comment, we'll try to make a video for you. So uh, what we usually do, we remove the upper radiator hose. Okay, I'll show you this one here, we'll remove the clamp and we'll remove the holes and we'll start filling the holes with coolant. So if it's stuck, okay, you might help it a little bit with a screwdriver, try to take it out. Okay, once you're able to turn it, it will come off, but you need to just go ahead and take your time to pull it all the way out because it will be really really tight okay so it will come up like that now we are going to put the funnel here on it hold it really good and we will add coolant until we fill it up that way the coolant will go in the cylinder here because right now it's empty Always use gloves when you do that. Okay, so we'll fill it up until it's full. So we'll add a little bit more. Okay, you can see it's full. Okay, so now we can go ahead and remove the funnel. You have to be careful not to spill coolant. If you do clean it, especially in your garage, if you have pets, kids, because it's poisonous, install it on the radiator feeling cap now and we need to place the clamp on top of it now okay perfect you can see just like that now we need to open the cap here the radiator cap and we need to continue filling the whole system up until it's full So we'll slowly do that until it's full and show you what to do next. So this is the overflow bottle right here. We are going to add some now here as well. So we'll just add until it reaches the full mark. Okay, right there. That's it. We'll just add the rest in the radiator until it, uh, it's full all the way as well. Okay. You can see there is no a uh, little bit of air coming out so you see what else we need to do okay if you squeeze the hoses you might get a little bit more air out but in our case not much at all next place the radiator cap get it tight and we're ready for the next step so once you fill it up with coolant make sure it's full all the way close the radiator cap start the car and let it idle now let it idle and keep an eye on the temperature sensor, on the temperature gauge inside to make sure it doesn't overheat and stays right in the middle where it's supposed to. In the meantime, do not, uh, uh, do not rev the car too much, okay, just let it idle at first and you want to turn your heater on, on hot, all the way hot. That way the coolant is going to circulate from here to the radiator inside the car and you'll get air out of the uh, radiator cup inside under the dash as well. You want to let it idle, you can give it a little bit of gas but not much until the radiator fan turns on maybe three to four times. When that happens turn the car off, let it stay overnight, okay and next morning when the engine is ice cold check the coolant. 
but do not check the coolant when the engine is hot because it can spray and burn you really bad. So if it needs a little bit more coolant, add more. Also, you want to check okay, your reservoir, overflow reservoir in addition here. So that will be guys the video. Hopefully it will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.